Hello everybody, welcome. Simon Leach here. Welcome to the studio here in my in Barryville. Um, what have I got for you right now? Well, <laughs> I thought I, what I'd like to do is just go through some very basic steps on how to throw a cylinder. Um, basic but fundamental. So why don't you join me? I'm going to set up the camera right here next to my, my wheel. It's just going to adjust the picture here. So the we're right there we are. Now I want to go through and make for you various models to show you the progression of shapes to making a cylinder. So let's go. So the first thing that we've got to do obviously is center the clay. So what I want to do is bring up the clay like like that okay so we're going to call that um, shape number one as usual I'm not organized and I don't seem to have my cutoff wire hang on I'll be right with you there we are got it I was over there doing some wedging left my wire over there so first thing to do is cone it up like that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to cut that fellow off all right so we're going to call that number one right let's go number two and I'll sort of try and talk through this as I go so we had number one which was that. Now we're going to go to number two and we're going to get it to that shape. So I've pushed it down and don't forget center it right at the base the clay right at the base on the wheel head there. Okay okay cut him off. In my experience um, this is so important to learn how to throw a cylinder and so many people you know you, you have to develop your own technique I do workshops and I teach people and I don't like to try to alter people's technique I try to take them from where they are however it doesn't hurt to have a few basic things to aim for because sometimes people don't know quite what to aim for so there was number one and then we took it to to that which was number two all right now we're going to go go in now people are taught in different ways but some people want to go straight down and drop a vertical hole I don't actually do that I, I tend to go in with my thumb and maybe one or two fingers, okay, and go down until I get a V shape like that. Because I find a V, a V shape, all right, keeps keeps it on center. I don't know any of you if you've tried to sink a vertical hole down. Sometimes the the hole is not quite in the middle. You lose it somehow. So I found by going in more in a V shape like that, and I go into the depth as deep as I think is required for the thickness of the base straight away. Okay, so there we are. Right, we're going to cut that one off. He's number three. Okay, so now number four. So, number one is to, to cone it up. Number two is to push the point of the cone down, spread it out, okay, and try and get a nice round shape, all right? Center him at the base. Now going in, just like I explained, in, in, the, shape of a, in the shape of a V, like that, okay? Now, what I want to do is move the clay from the center out. All right, 
pushing from the centre to the side. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just clean it off a little bit on the side here just to facilitate me being able to, to lift it off because at this stage. Oh, don't forget also when you when you go to lift off a pot, two things, make sure one that the outside of the pot is free from slurry, but also make sure your hands are free from slurry. Okay, now I'm gonna oh, did I cut it? Don't think I did. Cut him. Now you can peel it off like that, you see? Alright, number four. Right, okay. Let's do that again. So, number one, cone. Number two, push down that cone, the point of the cone, push him down till you get a nice shape like that. Clean him off with the wheel head. That's number two. Number three, I'm going to go in in the form of a, a V. Okay. Now we're going to push the clay out. From the centre, push out. Okay, that give, gives us number four. The next thing I do is I close it in like that. You see what I've done? I've, I've, I've made it I've collared it in effectively. All right. Again, I'm going to have to just clean this a little bit just to help me get them off. Of course, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't clean him in the process of of making a cylinder. It's only to help me get him off the wheelhead. Right. So that is number five. Now, I'm going to try and lift him off. Okay, number five. Now then, number six. So, number one, cone him up. Number two, push that cone down and flatten him out. Clean him off at the base. Alright, that's number two. Number three, going into the depth that I require in the form of a V, like that. That's number three. Number four, push the clay out. Something is making a noise here. Alright, so we pushed him out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to collar him in. Now, Next thing is, fingers are going to go in here, my two middle fingers, and using my two middle fingers on the outside. Now bear in mind that the inside and the outside, the heights are going to be slightly different, because the thickness of the base is going to be the difference in the height. So, now I, at this point, I push in here with my fingers to create that lip, because that's what I'm going to carry up. into the into that cone shape okay right I'm cut him off now oh what fun it's basic stuff you see but I find so many people have real difficulty in it the ability to throw a simple cylinder. They struggle with it. And so long as you're struggling at making a cylinder, you're going to be forever struggling. So crack that one and you'll be you'll be all set. So now this is going to be the last one. I hope I've got enough lumps of clay. So let's let's go through it again. Number one. Number two, 
flatten them off. Right the way down to the base. Next one, go in in the form of a V. Next one, push the clay out. Now you can push it out wider than what you think your cylinder that you're going to make is going to be. Okay, that's that. That's number four. Number five, collar him in. Now, to, by collaring him in like that, you are setting the tone, as it were, setting the scene, because as you lift the clay upwards, the pot wants to open. So by keeping it like that, you're already setting the scene to, to keep it in at the top. All right. Also, if you could th think about it, my fingers that are on the inside have got, because of the cone shape, they've got something to lift against. Right, now we're going to push in, and now we're going to take that clay straight up, keeping it cylindrical. Okay, so that's where we got to, that was number, number six. Now I'm going to be in one final pushing in and lifting up again, and taking the clay right up into the cylinder. Okay, and that's it. Now, just showing you that very basically, I might, I might have done one more lift up there, but I'm not going to because I want to keep this simple. Now, what you want to do is take your stick, you want to put in an undercut. Okay, now that's very important, and remember to do that. Nothing worse than seeing pots that are cut off the wheel with a sharp corner on the base there because they didn't put in an undercut. So put in the undercut, then also use your 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 stick here but when you when you use your stick don't put it flat against the pot like that put it at an angle like that so it's touching first at the, the base here so if I can if I can demonstrate that now I'm going to just touch the pot there all the way up like that and that just is cleaning off the slurry very important if you want to be able to get the pot off the wheel a lot of people again so used to throwing on bats that they don't, they're not used to lifting a wet pot off the wheel. Well, that's something you need to learn how to do. Now, using the chamois here, just on the rim, we're just going to just hold the chamois over the rim, but don't apply any pressure, okay? It's a little bit, takes a bit of a practice that, to hold it and to apply the, the chamois. Because it's a bit of a slippery fellow, isn't he? And he wants to try and get out of your hand. All right, now if there's any water left down the bottom of the pot, if you've got a sponge on a stick, you can put that down. I don't ha actually happen to have one here. Or you can take two fingers like that and a sponge and you can just, if there happens to be any, any water down there that needs clearing, that's when to do it. Okay, so we're now gonna cut him off. Okay, and that is the seventh model. Now, when you lift off a cylinder, dry your hands, make sure the outside of the pot is clean. Hold the cylinder like that and just lift it towards you. And it should just release. You see like that? Lift it first on one side and then, okay. So that's that, I'm gonna put him down over there. Right, now then, let's just have all these up here for us to see once again. I'm just going to take the camera. And there we have it, have them folks. The different models there that show one, the cone, two, a bit like a mushroom, going in like a V. Open him out wide, okay? cone him in, bring up the cone, and finally the cylinder there at the end, the finished cylinder. Okay folks, well thank you for joining us here in Barryville for this short clip on how to make a cylinder and the different stages that that presents. Simon Leach here saying keep practicing.
เสีย